Welcome to Phil's Tech Help, and today I'm going to be reviewing Mountain Lion. First off is Notification Center. In Notification Center, you can click on Settings. You will get a pop-up similar to iOS. You can change how the alert appears and other settings. You can also tweet a message right from Notification Center. You can even add to your location. If you look at the dock, you can see two new applications, Reminders and Notes. Let's check out Notes. Notes and Reminders will sync with iCloud, so if you make a note on your device, it will appear on your Mac. You can even dictate a note. Just double tap the FN key. For an example, I will say, I like cheese, don't you? It dictates it perfectly, but you do have to have an internet connection for this feature to work. Let's take a look at Reminders. I can't even tell the difference between the iOS application and the Mac application. Let's move on. Let's see what the new version of Safari has to offer. The first thing you might notice is the unified search and address bar. So that means you can Google something and type in a web page at the same time. It's similar to Google Chrome. This version of Safari also includes iCloud tags which means that you can see the tabs open on your iOS devices or other computers. A new share button has been added throughout Mountain Lion, so in this case, I'm going to tweet this web page. Just simply click on Tweet, and you can enter a message or add your current location. When loading a web page, you can notice that the loading bar is much smoother than it used to be. The dock has also changed. It's not as translucent as it used to be, and there's a new trash icon. You now have the ability to search for applications in Launchpad. You can turn on AirPlay mirroring by going into System Preferences, then Displays, and turn on AirPlay mirroring. Select your Apple TV, and you can adjust some settings. A new Messages app also came out on Mountain Lion. You can start a message on your Mac and continue it on your iOS device. Let's see how these messages show up in Notification Center. They look exactly like they do in iOS. You can now install Mac system updates right through the Mac App Store. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video.